Hello and welcome to No Sevens College Edition Week 10 uh, College Football Picks. Well guys, it is Sunday. Decided to shoot this video a little bit early instead of on Tuesdays like I normally do. So I decided to shoot it early to knock out some of these picks. Well, Week 9 was a rough week for us. Uh, I guess that's the reason why it's called gambling. We are all due to have a rough week every so often. Uh, this week, uh, on week nine, uh, uh, Oklahoma lost the number five spot. That number five spot seems to be uh, the curse of death. Uh, the only team so far that's able to survive the number five spot was LSU. Uh, but last week, Wisconsin was number five. They went down uh, and lost at Illinois. And then Oklahoma lost to Kansas State. Uh, this week, and that was one of our picks. So, um, Oklahoma did not cover, of course. Uh, for the first time ever, LSU did not cover uh, their spread this year. They covered every spread so far this year, except for this week. And they would have done it too if um, Delpit and uh, Derek Stingley did not get hurt on that touchdown run by Auburn. Uh, so, we didn't cover there. Uh, the Penn State game, we covered big time. Uh, that was a good one, so we did win there. And then uh, Missouri and Kentucky, I thought for sure Missouri was going to be able to play um, a competitive football game and compete for the SEC East. Missouri obviously uh, does not have any plans to compete for the SEC East, so we did not cover there. So this week we went 1-3. and three. Um, We... Um, after last week of going 4-0, and we went 1-3. and So we're all due for a trip up. Um, lost some money this week on my picks. And then, of course, the dark horse, uh, we went down and we lost. Um, Arkansas didn't cover against Alabama. Uh, so, but I mean, it's it's week nine. You know, we uh, so we went 1-3 and on the spread. Lost on a dark, dark horse and lost on the bullies. <clears throat> all right. Moving on to week 10. That's enough to cover for there. So let's go ahead and let's talk about week 10. So week 10, uh, I got a, a ton of emails about the Georgia-Florida uh, SEC uh, East battle. We're going to go over that. Uh, but let's go over our picks. So we're going to talk about Michigan at Maryland. Michigan right now is minus 18 and a half points. We are going to take uh, Michigan, um, minus 18 and a half points. Uh, Michigan looked really well against Notre Dame. I received some emails about that, and I picked Notre Dame because it was a pick em game. Uh, I didn't put any money, but I apologize for uh, picking Notre Dame. It uh, looks like uh, Notre Dame and Michigan swapped offenses in that game. And um, Michigan, I mean, they just came out to play. I, Jim Harbaugh, you know, was fighting for his job and everything else pretty much. So uh, Michigan has a really good defense. That's the reason why I am going to go ahead and pick uh, Michigan against Maryland. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Michigan minus 18 and a half points. I really do think that uh, that Michigan is going to win this game. I don't think Maryland's going to be able to keep up with uh, Michigan's defense. Michigan's defense is legit. It's always been legit. They have a really good defense. And so that's who I'm going to pick is the Michigan game. All right, moving on to the next game. Let's go over to Georgia versus Florida game. That's what I've received the most emails about, the most uh, questions uh, for the past two weeks. And I'm already receiving emails about the LSU uh, Alabama game. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, Georgia versus uh, Florida. This game is going to be played in Jacksonville. This is going to decide who wins the SEC East. Uh, Florida is getting back their two offensive, I mean, their two defensive players that was out there in the LSU game. Uh, that's really going to help shore up that defensive line that's already very potent already. Georgia has uh, a very good run game. They're averaging, their running game is averaging over six yards per carry. And uh, their offense is clicking pretty well with Jake Fromm uh, moving the ball pretty well. But the, the, uh, their strength of their offense is the running game. So it's going to be interesting to see how uh, Georgia's running game 
uh, you know, is affected by those two players coming back from injury, those two, uh, those two other uh, defensive linemen coming back. Because uh, L- uh, Florida has a really good defense. This is going to come to a battle of the trenches, like I always say. Uh, who's going to win that battle? Who's going to be the most dominant on the force? Is it going to be the Georgia's offensive line or is it going to be Florida's defensive line? And that's where it's going to be decided at. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick Florida uh, right now because Florida right now is plus five and a half points. I think this is going to be a very close game. I think it's going to come down to less than uh, less than seven points in this game. I think it's going to come down to pretty much a field goal in this game. Uh, I would like to see Georgia win this game, but I think Florida is going to is going to cover this uh, five and a half. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to take Florida plus the five and a half points. Uh, I would like to see Georgia uh, win the SEC East uh, to make it easier for LSU uh, when they play in the SEC championship come December. But uh, I know this is going to be a very good, uh, very tight uh, football game, and uh, I just rather see Georgia go into the SEC uh, championship than Florida because it's always harder to beat a team uh, twice uh, in in a year no matter who you are and uh, I'd rather Georgia go but uh, I normally don't pick games that are this difficult you know and this neck and neck I like to pick teams that are usually kind of lopsided in favor of the stronger team but uh, I'm going to pick Florida and take the five and a half points and go from there and, uh, and really watch how good this game is going to be. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, moving on. Uh, the next game is Ole Miss at Auburn. Auburn, uh, on Saturday, uh, I tip my hat to them. They came out to, uh, to Death Valley and played an awesome game. I tell you what, if they play, um, if they play anything like this for the rest of the season, uh, Alabama is going to have their hands full. And uh, Georgia's going to have their hands full, too. I think Georgia plays Auburn also. So keep that in the back of your mind. Um, I think Auburn plays both of those teams in November. Uh, and if they play like they did against LSU, uh, don't be surprised for them to win probably against Georgia and probably against Alabama. Very, very good uh, defense. Probably the best defense I've seen all year besides Ohio State. Ohio State's another complete team, but Auburn has got a great defensive line. And uh, overall, great defense, you know, and that's what's carried them through uh, through this year. Uh, so I am going to take Auburn minus 19. They're playing at Auburn. Uh, all, Ole Miss has a really good uh, offense, but they just they cannot compete against uh, Auburn's defense. So I'm going to take Auburn minus 19 points. And then uh, the last game I'm going to take is um, is Utah at Washington. Utah is minus five points. Uh, I think, uh, you know, besides that one loss that Utah has, they've really been playing really well. And uh, this past Saturday, uh, they were resting players during their game. I think it was against UCLA, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not quite sure who they played. Um, I want to say it was UCLA. But uh, they were resting players and everything else. And Washington is um, is pretty much wrapped up for the season. You know, they're just competing for um, a, a smaller bowl bid right now. Uh, but Utah, you know, I think they're going to go out there and try to compete for the Pac-12 championship. It should be interesting to see how it goes. Uh, but I, I think I think Utah is is the is the more dominant team in this, and I think they're definitely going to win by uh, by five points. So I went ahead and I took Utah minus five points. Uh, this week I didn't have a lot of um, I did not have a lot of. Uh, tough guys, bullies to pick. So I'm going to bring this up so that way you guys can see it in the camera. There we go. All right. So the tough guys I picked, uh, or the bullies I picked this week is Michigan, Texas A&M, Utah, and Auburn. There, there's just, there's not a lot of uh, smaller guys, uh, you know, bigger teams playing the smaller teams this week. So I just went ahead and I took Michigan, Texas A&M, Utah, and Auburn. And of course, like like we are always going to do, is we're going to buy an individual ticket for each one. So we're going to buy a ticket for Michigan. We're going to buy a ticket for Florida, Auburn, and Utah. Four different tickets, and then we're going to combine. We always do, and I don't do this on purpose. And I had an email from uh, from George who was telling me he's like, you always pick two SEC teams, and uh, 
I was like, I don't pick two SEC teams every week. And then sure enough, I do always pick two SEC teams. I don't do it on purpose. It's just when I look at the lineups, I look at the strength, and it just so happens that I always pick two SEC teams. So, all right, so we're going to do the SEC parlay. So we're going to parlay the Georgia-Florida game and the Ole Miss-Auburn game. So we're going to parlay Florida and Auburn. That's going to be a two-team parlay right there. And then we're going to parlay Michigan and Utah. And that's going to be another parlay. All right, so we're going to uh, do individual tickets, all four individual tickets, and then we're going to parlay uh, Florida and Auburn together, and then we're going to parlay Michigan and Utah together, and then we're going to do a round robin. We're going to do uh, Michigan, Florida, Auburn, and Utah, a round robin, just in case one of them loses, we're still covered. And then we're going to do an individual ticket with Michigan, Texas A&M, Utah, and Auburn. It's not going to pay a lot, so we're going to have to add one more team. So you know, if there's a football team that you like, you can add to, to the bully picks or you can take Michigan, Florida, Auburn, or Utah uh, plus the points in there and, uh, and go from there. So uh, that's my picks. I didn't do a dark horse this week. So uh, I know I'm going to be asked for a dark horse team. So, and if you notice how my camera always moves, it's I think this room is haunted. I notice that whenever I do my video repeats that it always tends to move by itself. It's kind of freaky actually, but, um, Hey, look, it is what it is. Um, Oh yeah. One thing I want to add to you guys is that on, uh, the number five team this week is Penn state. They're not going to lose this week. They're off. So we don't have to worry about the curse of the number five spot, uh, this week. So, um, I'm just trying to flip through here real quick to see if I can find you a dark horse team. I really didn't pick one because my dark horses, I'm one in four. So I really don't want to do a dark horse. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do one dark horse for you guys. I am going to do, I'm going to do, uh, North Carolina state at Wake Forest. So that's who I'm going to do. I'm going to write it down real quick. We're going to do NC state. I'm going to write it down. So hold on with me. NC state at Wake Forest. And Wake Forest is by eight. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna take North Carolina State. NC State plus eight. That's who my uh, my dark horse is. And of course I don't know if you'd be able to read this. Alright so this is gonna be my dark horse. So NC State NC State uh, at Wake Forest, NC State plus eight is my dark horse. That's who I'm going to take and uh, who's going to who's going to cover that spread. And I think who's going to win that game outright, too. I think NC State's going to win that game. That's who I'm going with as my dark horse pick uh, for week 10. And uh, this is the end of October, guys. So we are uh, we're just literally down to the month of November and then it's over. I mean, it's hard to believe four more weeks and, you know, this is it. That's, you know, that's the end of the season for, for college football, uh, you know, season. Then we get into the conference championships and we get into, uh, you know, the college football games, uh, the bowls and stuff like that. I might come out with a, uh, since I don't have a huge uh, subscriber list just yet, I might do a really cool um, uh, uh, college football bowl challenge. I'm still working out the details. It all depends on how many subscribers I have, how many people want to participate in it. But I might do something where we can all participate and the winner will get a cool prize. So I'm still working on it. It's still in the rough stages. Uh, I'm working on that right now. So, uh, but I think that's, that's it, guys. I wanted to wish you guys uh, lots of luck. Uh, if you're paying attention, the college football uh, playoff committee is going to come out soon. And, uh, and we're going to decide who the, who the number one team is, who the number two team is, and everything else. LSU got moved up to number one. Uh, they deserve that spot. Uh, I know a lot of Alabama fans are going to say, you know, Alabama deserves it. But uh, LSU's played uh, three top ten teams and beat them. So, and that's the best uh, resume in this country so far. So congratulations to LSU for getting the number one spot. It's their first number one spot since 2011. And... Um, I can't, I'm really upset with the, with the networks against ESPN and uh, CBS. Uh, they, uh, they, they picked their, their night games 
uh, too early in the season. So you have number one LSU and number two Alabama playing at 2.30 on November 9th, which totally doesn't make sense. And you have this Florida and Georgia game playing at 2.30 also on CBS, uh, which does not make any sense. That should be another night game because that's going to be a very good uh, you know, game also. But uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and don't forget to uh, ring that bell because I'm always coming out with new content. I'm going to be coming out with a really cool uh, crap strategy this week. So pay attention when it comes out. It's probably going to come out around Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, probably Wednesday because Thursday is Halloween. So I'm going to try to shoot for Wednesday. But um, thanks for watching. And uh, good luck at, um, at week 10 for whoever team you pick. And you don't have to go with my teams, but just thank you for, uh, for tuning in and watching my show. So have a good week, guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.